the destination Kent State freshman college orientation vlog. So I'm really excited to uh, take you guys with me as I do my freshman orientation. Finally here. I'm gonna be in college. I'm gonna be in college, y'all. Um, community bathrooms are no joke, y'all. No. I can't wait to make my schedule. I get to make my schedule today and I just hope that I get the classes that I want. I plan on doing a life over fashion design student vlog series where I basically document my whole like experience and stuff like that. Um, it should be like a, a weekly series. Moving day. Hey. It's so crazy. So y'all basically met my roommate as soon as I did. <laughs> well, in person. It's so hard to say goodbye <laughs> to yesterday. Okay. But dun 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 dun. In my room with another fashion loving fashion design major. I have my pink wall decal that I love. Hello says good morning, gorgeous. And then I have my golden white and my comforter set. I'm putting my hangers up. First floor meeting. Oh my gosh, like what? Filming from a totally different space. This is amazing. I officially started college. Welcome weekend is beginning. So uh right now I need coffee. Oh, on our way to wait, what are we going to? What is that called? Uh, oh yeah, so our first year experience, College of the Arts class. Yes. So today, um, we're doing day of service. This is our first Saturday on campus. Ooh, <laughs> we're on our way to blast off. Um, I basically have my art history book. I have a whole chapter to read, and then I have like a whole quiz. <laughs> I don't know. It just like it rains so much, y'all. Like, get ready for that Ohio weather. It rains all the time, and it's cold. Benefits of being to lecture early. You get to choose your own seat. We have 15 minutes to get all the way to the library. <laughs> That's on the other side of campus. Oh, the joys of college. But yeah, just an art history class. So oh, I am leaving out of art history. And I just really, 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 really had a good class. Uh, I'm leaving the study abroad information day. And that was just like four hours of like pure heaven to take advantage of these opportunities. Like I legitimately have to like not even optional. Like this is not like, oh, maybe I can. Oh, I hope. Oh, I think. No, I'm going. Period. And it's I mean, it's so amazing and it's like so um, overwhelming at the same time because this stuff is so expensive. Like, this is so expensive. This is gonna take, like if I'm gonna really, really, really do this, this is gonna take work. This is gonna take like some work. Like, like I don't know how to, like I, at this moment, I don't know how to work in the way that I need to work to really get to these places. Like, I don't know, but I'm gonna figure it out because this is my dream. Ooh. Rockwell, like, I'm just gonna drop this the fashion building. We're talking about Adobe <laughs> Illustrator and like how expensive it is. We had to buy it for our fashion. Basically, the whole program was like a requirement. But yeah, we're on our way to my D stuff. We're painting the rock. It's like this tradition in Kent State where they have like a rock and like you basically just keep on painting on it. We're reviewing Fashion Week and kind of like talking about it and stuff. So that's exciting. Look at us. Look at how we walking. We look walking so late. We look like we're not gonna make it. I made a pattern. Look, guys. Deja is watching. Look at this. Look at this. This is what I'm supposed to do. I have to make these patterns and like the colors and have like the theme and have different like. Look at these clothes. Look, I'm supposed to draw that. What? I can't. I can't. I can't, like, I, I cannot. Fashion Fabrics Lab, we're doing a burn test today. So the fabric's over there. So, it's like seven o'clock at night and I am moving back into school and I could not be happier. So happy because we are back. I'm back. Yo! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the girl, somewhere in the room, man. I'm reunited. Currently trying to laugh, we are so unsuccessful. But we're, we're, we're still, we're gonna give up. Yep. It did not work. It's my first day of classes. I have one class. It's a pre-op construction. Just finished a pre-op construction class. Yay. Taisha. Hi. <laughs> so a pre-op construction um, 
you know teaches us everything about sewing. Just to give you a general like idea, by the end of the class this semester, I will um, be required to make a tailored blazer. One thing I learned from last semester is that it's really important to take your take your syllabus seriously. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to go through the syllabus. And I'm going to anything that I don't um, understand, I'm going to look up, I'm going to watch a video, live, and you learn. Last semester taught me a lot, this semester is going to teach me even more. I'm on my way to my first fashion visuals class. My goal this semester is to be resilient, regular, to be diligent, and to not get intimidated, and not give up, and to do everything as soon as I get it. I'm really big on breaks because my thing is that it takes so much of me mentally to be like grasping these new concepts and stuff like that. And I just get so emotionally invested and I just be needing a break. But I'm like, I don't have time for that in the fashion industry. I really don't. She literally, like we got into the class and she literally said, it's a very time consuming class and it's a lot of work. She said, so if you have this class and another lot, just get ready to tell your friends that you don't have time and get in your sweats because you probably won't get out of them. We have so much work to do Sunday night. I refuse to allow myself to lose the love of it. She was like all the way right here and everybody's keeping up and I'm like back here still trying to do the thing she said about 30 minutes ago. So it's overwhelming because um, I don't know what's going on. So so we are working on our visuals work. Here's Tayshia. Hello. So how, what is this assignment? What do we have to do? This is the color wheel and the color story assignment. We'll learn about tense shades and tones. So we are filming. <laughs> Everything changes. Like what you know about drawing, what you know about sewing, it all just flips. It does. Like it's not the same as what you learned previously. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. That's why I'm so glad that I don't really have like, I didn't come in with a lot of like, Pre di like disposition to like certain things. I'm just like, look, yeah. <laughs> I just want to do this. I'm gonna learn how to do it. Y'all gonna teach me. Fashion tech went good, so sleep has become a very important concept, and I'm not happy with that. That's not something I am proud of. Um, it feels horrible. You want sleep? Like sleep deprivation is acute. We about to try to make some chicken alfredo in um, one hour. It's another order. For my store so shout out to chloe for buying something from my store um you guys should go support there's still things on the site i was like i'm about to go to the library to study and so i was looking for my place and i was like you know what they're probably here you have to go to class why do you have to leave us mm -hmm. <laughs> a whole entire research paper we have to have this entire board is completely filled because we're gonna have a current trend and future trends. Whether it's, whether we choose spring or summer or whatever we choose. Like I don't understand how you guys are like I'm giving y'all props that y'all are in basics and this. Still working. Still working. Let me see it, Aiden. It looks good. I really do like it. I really like it. I just got out of my fashion technology class. I think that I did a good job. He said I did a good job. Um, and the greatest part about it is the fact that I submitted it early. I literally love what I do, you know? And I had one of those moments in tech today when he was uh, talking about our next project. And I was just like, I was meant to do this, you know? Hey guys, so I've been working literally on my project for the whole time, from the time I took my exam. I think my exam, I don't think I failed it, but I don't think I aced it, so I don't know what I did. On. This is where I'm at so far with the theme I told you guys about the other day. Well, this is my pocket that was attached, but I sewed it shut, so I'm seeing ripping like it's nobody's business. The back of it, I have the zipper. I was so proud of the zipper. Sewing in general is, um, it just, it's, it's, it's tedious. It takes time, but like, you know, you only have so much time in the semester and you have to master you know, these certain skills within this time. So I understand why they move so fast, but it don't change the fact that it's a lot. Mm. Everything just moves fast because they're trying to teach us a lot. They're making us masters. So it's like at our craft. So they don't have time to like waste. I am 
running right now trying to get to class. I have 12 minutes to get to the fashion building. I literally have the exact same thing on that I had yesterday because I haven't slept. It took me the whole, like, it took me the whole night, like, to work on this and a pair of construction, like, I cannot believe it. I'm not even fully satisfied with them. I'll insert a picture in here, but I'm just really trying to get to class on time. I didn't have time to do, like, anything else but finish this project and leave. I, if I'm late, it's it's unaccepted. Like, they're not accepting if it's late. So, I made it to class on time. Good news. Jet and trying to get to class on time. And I made it. I came through right at the door at 8 o'clock. And she accepted it. The bad is that I just... Um, I just... I'm just mad at myself. And I just feel like my my project goes crap. I had to present in front of the whole class. And then I watched other people as she was giving them their critiques. Um, and, you know, saying what was good about them, what was bad, and mostly good about theirs. And I was just like, man, I didn't know to do that. I didn't know, you know, how to do that, or that that would have been good, or this would have been good. I Um, I have to finish my visual, the entire visuals project, these two trend boards. Um, I did all the research for it yesterday, but I have to get them printed out from FedEx and finish my boards, both of the boards, the trend boards, and then I have to write two research papers, um, all by tomorrow morning, so, oh, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, the research took so much longer than I thought that it would. Wait, one board is a, a trend board for the current season, so I'm doing spring. 2016 is a forecasting for the trends of next season, which is 2017 spring. Leaving class. So now that I'm done with Black Experience, I'm trying to get my pictures printed out for this project. I have 50 and I need to get them printed out for the cheapest price possible. Oh, so this is the uh, spring 2016 and this is spring 2017. So. I made a suit, I made a suit. Well, it wasn't like together, but one of the projects was a blazer, a tailored lined blazer. And the other project was um, pants. won my first design competition. Um, basically, in my fashion visuals class, we had our last project of the year was project three. It was a group project. We had to design a collection. So we already had done this before in project one. And with three ensembles, everything included fabric swatches, color swatches, um, flat sketches, um, design inspiration, you know, all those different things that go into a collection. And then one of the garments that we designed, we had to make. But we didn't just make it out of um, any type of fabric. We had to pick a category from the thrift store. My group had black shirts. And so we had to take one of the designs that we made from our collection and, and make it out of plaid shirts. It was a sustainable design challenge. And so the idea was to transform the garment as much as possible. It was really a great experience and it really excites me uh, for my future in the fashion school and it excites me for my future as a fashion designer and other fashion design competitions and all that jazz. That was all I had to share. Thank you so much and God willing I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!